this process of doing validation of the project. After validating the project, then we are going to do the implementation of the projects, whereby involving the community, intent to the contract with the community, and actually the community start to protect the project. And Carbon Tanzania is financing a, a, a implementation process as a part of doing the capital investment on, on the project. Uh, after that, we are contracting with the uh, uh, auditors to check if the result has been achieved. After realizing the result has been achieved, then uh, this uh, report because we are submitting the reports to the auditor and the auditor they're publishing these reports to the system. After publishing this MRV's report, then they are going public for public reviews and opinions. All this process of uh, checking, uh, publishing, in make, is to make sure that we are transparent and actually the community, uh, international uh, world is able to access this kind of information and verify what has been reported there or ask if there is anything that is unclear so that we can clarify on our side on how the process was and how the community is getting benefit from this one. Only through implementation and monitoring, proving the result and proving that local people have benefited can a carbon credit be created and sold. So when a carbon credit is sold, most of the revenue will be returned to the community who created that result, meaning that local communities are getting various benefits throughout their lives, also we're creating the climate benefit. It involves um, the stage of capacity building that's very initial, where we, as a proponent, we do uh, propose ideas for projects implementation after seeing an opportunity and gaps that exist within, within that community. But again, through that capacity building, the intention is to make sure communities understand the basic idea and are able to make decisions over the design and nature of projects. Mm -hmm.